I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmapinstitute.com. In this video, we'll discuss a question asked by the student, and this is related to the maximum number of acute angles in a convex polygon. The solution shown here applies to any polygon. Well, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. I'll be glad to answer your questions. The question here is, as I said, related to acute angles in a convex octagon this time. So we have taken a very special polygon, octagon, which is, you know, eight-sided figure, two-dimensional, right? The question here is, the maximum number of acute interior angles in a convex octagon is, there are five choices, three, four, five, six, or seven. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. For the benefit of many viewers who may not be so much aware of this topic, here are a few definitions. Octagon is a polygon with eight sides. And when we use the word convex, right? Convex means what? Convex polygon. Convex polygon is a two-dimensional figure that will contain all the line segments joining any two points in the polygon. Now, what does that really mean? Let me draw octagon here and then we can understand it better. Normally, when you see an octagon, you see eight-sided figure. For example, we could make it like this, right? Something like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this eight, right? So let me join this better. Okay, so that becomes eight-sided figure, right? This, if I take up any two points, then the whole segment is within the figure itself. So this is called convex, right? Now, what is not a convex figure? Let me draw another octagon here. So let's say uh, we have something like this, and we have some one, and the other side is kind of like this, correct? So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, for example. Correct. So now we again have another figure, but this figure is not an octagon since if I take two sides, if I take two points, one inside here and the other there, and if I join them, then what do I notice? A part of the segment is outside, so it is not convex. So you understand. So we are talking about a convex polygon. Now this kind of a polygon, as you can see, can have many acute angles, right? So note here that we could actually have many acute angles. Yeah. Do you see this? All these are kind of acute angles, right? So we could have many. Uh, some have been shown here. Okay. But now the question relates to convex octagon, right? So now I hope you, the question is absolutely clear. In a convex octagon, maximum number of acute angles, that is what we are looking into. Well, there are other related terms. When we say regular polygon, it means that all the sides and the interior angles are equal. And a general formula to provide for the sum of interior angles is, if n is the number of sides, then n minus 2 into 180 degrees, right? So, so that is how we get a general formula. Uh, and for an octagon, you can place n equals to 8 for octagon, right? So you can write n equals to 8 for an octagon. Okay. So in that case, if you put n equals to 8, then what do you get? You get 8 minus 2 into 180, correct? 
and you can calculate this to find the right answer which is 6 into 80 right so which is 6 into 80 6 6 times 8 is 48 4 so 1080 degrees so that will be the sum of all the angles in a regular octagon in any octagon perfect now let's see how do we solve this question let's go through the concepts first so here as i was saying that we have a convex polygon and in any convex polygon it is very important to note that the angles are less than 180 degrees right so let's get back to our previous figure and check the angles so you can easily see here that here all the angles are less than 180 degrees right all angles less than 180 degrees for a convex polygon correct but if it is not a convex polygon look here we could have some angles which are even more than 180 degrees do you see this angle this is more than 180 degrees right so if it is not a convex polygon we could have an angle which is more than 180 degrees as soon as you have an angle more than 180 degrees we could get two points which when connected the segment will lie outside the polygon itself you get the concept and therefore we are concluding here that in any convex polygon right we will have angles less than 180 degrees right now what is an acute angle acute angle is less than 90 degrees sum of eight angles in octagon is 1080 as we just calculated and the calculation is simple how do we get this formula well here is an octagon eight-sided figure so if i try to make some triangles here for example let me just join some sides here and then make some triangle so if you join like this this is kind of a regular octagon what you notice here is we have eight triangles right so eight triangles sum is 8 into 180 and then we have to take away the sum of this vertex which is 360 so minus 360 so 8 times 180 minus 360 that is how you get your formula which could also be written as 8 minus 2 times 180 because 360 is 2 times 180 and if you calculate we get 1080 well that gives us that each interior angle of the regular polygon will be how much divided by 8 we get each angle as 135 degrees right all these will be equal and these are equal to 135 degrees in a regular octagon is that clear to you now what are we looking for we are looking for acute angles in a convex octagon there could be many acute angles for example uh, we could have an octagon like this let me sketch one for you let's say this is one side and instead of going for 135 degrees if we go for a higher angle let's say let's say like this correct so kind of like this do you see this now this angle is much more than 135 degrees right now that gives us a scope of reducing other angles to even less than 90 and make them acute right so we can make this as an acute angle correct so we made this as an acute angle. do you see this how we made them an acute angle so clearly these angles for us are acute angles so we could have some acute angles how many that is the question right so let me complete this figure so we already have one two three four five six seven and let me join this with this eight so we again have an octagon with some acute angle correct now the question is what could be this maximum number of acute angles in a convex octagon that is what the question is is it three four five six or seven those were the four choices correct perfect and it's very clear 
that the sum will remain as 1080 total since still you can make eight triangles do you see that you can still make eight triangles any way you make right so you could still make eight triangles for example do you have eight triangles like this you still have eight triangles right so outside angles will sum to 1080 as shown here perfect right now you understand that if we have few angles as less than 90 degrees in that case the other angles will be much more than 135 degrees right but they cannot be more than 180 degrees so that is our limiting factor maximum is 180 degrees based on this let's do a calculation and here is how we are going to do it so to the answer of this question which is the maximum number of acute interior angles in a convex polygon we have five choices is it three four five six or seven so now we understand that for the possible acute angles we need to calculate the average measure of remaining angles right so what we'll begin with so here we have a table in this table we have acute angles some of these acute angles now if there are three acute angles, for example, right, because three is one of our choices, let's test it out. So if there are three acute angles. In that case, some of these three acute angles will be less than 270, right? Maximum, they're approaching nine, 90, right? So 90 times three is 270. Some of these three, which is the second column of this table, is 270 degrees. Now, since the total is 1080, the remaining in this case, out of 8, we have already taken 3, remaining 5 will have a sum which is 1, 1080 minus 270, which gives us 810. Now, divide, dividing this by 5, we get 162 average, right? So, so that is how we have different columns of this table. So in this table, we have first column, which gives you the number of possible acute angles. Second gives you the sum of acute angles. The third one, if that is the sum of acute angles, then what could be the sum of other angles, which are, of course, obtuse angles, right? And then we have average value of those obtuse angles, right? So if there are three acute angles, in that case, some of these three acute angles has to be less than 270 degrees. So the remaining five, remaining five, their sum will be how much? 180 minus 270, which is 810. That gives us an average value of 810 divided by 5, which is 162. Well, that is possible, correct? Since it is 162 degrees is less than 180 degrees, correct? So this is possible, no problems about it. So we could definitely have three. Now, if we have four, in that case, what? If we have four acute angles, their sum is less than 360 degrees. That means that the remaining four, four are remaining, right, will have the sum of 180 minus 360. That gives us 720. Dividing by four, it gives you 180. So that means on average, these angles should measure more than 180 degrees. That is not possible for a convex polygon, right? Since we have a convex polygon. And therefore, the answer is three. So three is the maximum number of acute angle which we could have for an octagon. Is that clear to you, right? So we have a solution which is option A, which is 3. You get the idea. Now, it is very important to understand that with this logic, you can actually prove that maximum number of acute angles in any polygon. So if it, if, even if I change from octagon to any polygon, it is always 3, correct? It is always three and the reason is very clear from you you can also derive this from the formula i hope it makes sense right 
So that is how we are going to answer this particular question. And so our solution here is option A, which is 3. And as I explained you, this is for also valid for any polygon. I should write any convex polygon, right? With that, we come to a conclusion. I hope you have understood all the concepts. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.